In today's video, we are going to discuss some common faults that may occur in instrumentation engineering. Let's start. Sometimes, control valve operates on uncontrol rate. When control valve opens or closes at uncontrolled rate, it is known as hunting. Due to control valve hunting, control valve is not operated properly and process variable changes randomly. By this, process may disturbed. If you see the trends on SCADA at the time of hunting, these types of trends will be there. By SCADA, you can easily see how long has the hunting been going on. Some problems due to hunting may be control valve packing, sheet may damaged. Here, we will discuss control valve hunting reasons and how to overcome them. The primary reason of hunting is water molecules in air. First of all, you need to check it. For this, air filter regulator is drained. Water will come out when drained from the air filter regulator. So, ensure that the air supplied for control valve is dry. For this, you should drain air filter regulators time to time. The second reason for hunting may be air supply is not proper. Firstly, check for the air leakage. If leakage is found, stop the air leakage. To check the air supply leakage, you will check the air supply provided to the valve positioner. Because air filter regulator is used for air supply. Therefore, sometimes air filter regulator is also changed. If air supply is proper, it may be a possibility that in valve positioners, air exhaust problem may be there. For this, firstly, use CRC spray to clean the valve positioner. This problem is usually solved by cleaning the valve positioner with CRC spray. If, even after this, the hunting does not stop, then, set the opening of the valve with the positioner. Or, in another words, calibrate the positioner. The third reason of hunting may be, PID tuning is not proper. The problem of hunting can also arise due to improper tuning of the PID controller. To check this, operate your PID controller in manual mode. From the PID controller, operate the control valve on a different different outputs. If there is no hunting, then operate the control valve from PID controller in auto mode. If there is hunting in auto mode, then Tune the PID controller. If the control valve you are using is not of proper size, then also hunting problems can occur. So, these were some reasons why hunting occurs in control valves. Next one is sensor failure. Sensors are important components of any instrumentation system. And they can produce error or fail due to many reasons. As, aging, means becoming old, mechanical damage, or, environmental factors, due to sensor failure, inaccurate measurements, or complete system failure, may occur. Next fault is, calibration drift. Calibration drift, is a gradual change, in the output of the sensor, which can happen over time, due to environmental factors, or, aging. This is also called calibration out if it is not improved. So, due to calibration drift, inaccurate measurements may occur, due to which industrial processes may disturbed. Next fault is electrical interference. Electrical interference occurs when electrical noise is coming from other equipments or sources. Sensors or Control system signals are disturbed. Due to electrical interference, erratic behavior, or complete system failure may occur. 
Next fault is wiring issues. Wiring issues mean that the wires are not connected properly or the connections are loose. Wiring issues are due to poor installation, damage, or it could be due to old age. Sometimes over time, losing occurs in the wires connected to the system or sensors and instruments. Wiring issues are the reasons of signal loss, electrical interference, or complete system failure. Next fault is software bugs. Instrumentation systems are often used to process and control data. Depend on software. Software bugs are reasons for system errors or measurement errors. It may cause problems in controlling industrial processes. Next fault may be environmental factors. Environmental factors such as temperature, humidity, and vibration can affect the performance of instrumentation systems. For example, extreme temperatures can damage the sensor or can cause signal loss. To avoid these faults, it is important to perform regular maintenance and calibration of instrumentation systems. Other than this, implementing redundancy measures and backup of sensors or control systems can prevent critical failures in industrial processes. Let's discuss one more more issue related to control valve. Sometimes the control valve does not open after a percentage when operated with PLC DCS. If you operate from PLC in manual mode, then it will operate 100%. When valve is operated by giving air in the field, even then it operates fully. So you get into thinking, what to do, how to solve this problem? What could be the reason behind this? Let's see it. One reason for this may be that, by PLC SCADA, the maximum opening of the control valve is set. Let's understand this by example, suppose, a control valve maximum opening of is set to 35%. Then in auto mode, the valve will not open more than 35% or whatever maximum percentage is set. The valve does not open fully by DCS or PLC SCADA. Friends, sometimes while controlling the pressure and temperature, a valve is set for the maximum opening so that the pressure or temperature does not increase too much. So, this was one reason. Apart from this if there is any reason then you can tell. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video do like and share. Also, press the bell icon for more updates and further uploads. Thanks for watching.